Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And we're in the city of Teaport, but today we're going to do a little bit of traffic fixing and tweaking. I'm going to give you some tips that you can use in your cities if you identify similar problems. And the first problem area we've got is over here by, by this winky wonky roundabout. You might remember this one because the paths go up and down, up and down, up and down, because this area isn't flat. Uh, we're not fixing that. The flatness of the land is not the problem. It is the traffic that we're getting in this area up here. So if you have a look, there's a lot of traffic that's coming down here. It's actually eased up just uh, ever so slightly, but uh, it will be back again, don't worry. We have a lot of buses because over here we have... Uh, we have a train station, so lots of people come in there. We have a bus into city bus hub, so lots of people are coming in there. We also have a university, so a lot of people coming in here. 580 students, we've got a couple of parks, a couple of other park type structures. Uh, we've got the traffic coming out, the waste transfer facility. All of that is coming off of this one little road here and heading back down into the city. What I've been finding is lots of cars coming down there, coming down this road and then hitting this roundabout and it just slows down. <laughs> and at the minute, it looks like all I would need to do was move that bus stop. That isn't the issue that I've been having, even though that is an issue at the moment. The big issue is, is these cars are not able to get out quick enough onto the roundabout. And I always think it's funny when I'm talking about one problem, but another <laughs> another problem has come up entirely. But there we go. We'll... we'll We'll take a look at that as well. Now, what I just did off camera. So this roundabout normally is set up to be 100 miles an hour because, or 100 kilometers an hour. I know, I know, I call it miles an hour. 100 kilometers an hour because this is a highway road that's made this roundabout. That's why we've got all these walkways over the top so our citizens can get about. And it isn't slow enough for these cars to get out over here. So what I just did off camera to try and do that bit of a test was slow it down to 70 kilometers an hour to see whether that would help just to give these guys a chance to come out. But I think we can do more. I think we can do more here to help. So what we're going to do is just pause the game. I am going to delete this roundabout. There we go. And then what I'm going to do to help us out, I'll turn that mod off. We're going to grab our picker mod. We're going to pick that road there. And then I'm going to draw that straight across. And then we're going to get our picker mod and grab... We'll grab this one to here. And then we'll grab our picker mod and draw that one to there. There we go. So we've got the relevant rows that we've got in different places. We're not going to keep this uh, like this. We're then going to use the roundabout mod. So for me, I'll press Control O and it opens up the roundabout mod. Um, I, I still want it to be three lanes. Let's do it this way. It's easier to pick which one you want. But I don't want it to be the highway three lane road. We're going to use this one here. The three lane one way road. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember whether this is in the game, in a DLC, or whether it's in network extensions too. But use your imagination. You'll be able to find it. I'm just wondering whether to flatten out this piece of land. Nah, let's keep it winky wonky, why not? So I'm going to select three lane one way. That's then put up there. And if we hover over here, there we go. That is going to pop in there. Now, the roundabout we had before was huge. It took up all this space. You don't need it. I would say it was about that big. Uh, I'm going to go about like that. So that's going to give us a little bit more space to play with. Bosch, which is what we want. <laughs> now the roads are all looking a bit weird, but that's fine. So let us now just delete off these extra connections that we've got here. We don't need those. Then we're going to grab just any old road and we are going to go from node to node, node to node, node to node. So we brace that up now. So that is going to stay that shape. I wonder whether to go a little bit smaller. Now nah, that should be okay. So we've got this road connecting down here. So that is a four lane road with parking and a protected bike lane. So there's a lot of things that we want to keep there. Basically, the main things are the bike and the four lane. Aha, there we go. So we have one way road parking with trees, two lane, one way road. Yeah, perfect. That is that is what I want. So, we are going to move this node back a bit. I'm going to turn on toggle snap in. And we're going to move that back, move that back. Yeah, that's fine. So, the next node's all the way down here. So, we're not getting too many nodes too close to each other. I think that will probably be okay about there. Then we're going to get this one-way road here. And we're going to say, 
I want you coming in there. Oh, look at that curve. And then I want you going out there. Just going to remove that fence. Turn off that. There we go. Don't want this fence to disappear down here. Excellent. So now we have, maybe not the parking, we still have the protected cycle lane. That's what I was thinking of. So that works well. So now when cars coming up here, they're not hitting this section here. And it's almost like a straight T-junction. Straight in, hard right turn, got to join all the rest of the traffic. They can now smoothly and quickly join the traffic coming through here and then coming off uh, is a lot quicker as well. Little bit of work we need to do on this before this is ready for action. Obviously, we've got to connect the other three roads up. But first of all, we're going to grab this one. So that is the lane connector. Click that and then control S. So Hugo there and it's automatically set up. Because before that lane was going to come around here. We don't want that. We want them to stick in their lane. And then we don't want them to stop on this node. We want them to go straight through the node. Wrong one. This one here. Go straight through the node. Go straight through the node. So they'll just keep on moving. See, normally I wouldn't want it sort of bowed out like that. I'd like it... I mean, nice and straight like that would be perfect. You can see they're coming around here. Straight down. Then around the corner. And the same going up, although I'm assuming we're going to get to a certain point and the game's not going to like it. Well, actually, that game has absolutely loved it. So there we go. So we turn up there and look at this. If you were down here, let's go into this mode, driving along here in a car, how much easier is it to join this roundabout here? Look at that. When it's all almost nice and straight out like that, that is absolutely perfect instead of hitting a right angle. That's the idea. So that's perfect, and that would have kept all of our connections. Yep, that's all okay. That's all okay. Cool beans. That's good. So whether I need to do the same for these other ones, I probably don't right now because they were running okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to connect these back up again. All right, that's good. Then we'll delete this. zippity doo da. And then we will get this one here. So priority signs. You've seen me doing this before. You can see on the options down here. By the way, to turn this on and off, it's just that little uh, toggle keyboard hints with the uh, question mark. So I'm going to do this bottom one here. Shift, control, and left click. There we go. It's added it all. So we've got giveaway signs coming on, which is fantastic. Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Mm. Perfect timing just as I was cleaning my throat. Clearing my throat. Uh, there we go. We've got uh, dedicated turning lanes for coming off, coming off in all the relevant places. And we've got these lane connectors here. So no lane switching in the middle. So when they come on, once they're in their lane, they stay in their lane. They can switch at the node, which will be here. So if they're coming around this way, can't switch there, pick their lane. They can switch there, pick their lane. Yeah, It just makes it all move much, much smoother. And I think that is all we need to do on that one. It's taken up less space, which is good. It's moved in a bit. All the houses that were there before are all fine. Let's just fill in that. The other thing, before I forget, we need our bicycle lane thing. So we can use that one there. Yeah, pedestrian bridge builder. Fantastic. So we've got inner roundabout or star. Um, let's do the inner roundabout. That's what we had before. There we go. I like the look of that. Some of them are a little bit high. I might just go through and tweak those. And let's not forget our little connection that we had over here. Let's go like that. There we go. That's fine. So let's just move that over a little bit. There we go. Excellent. There's probably some fences I need to put back in again. But at the moment, that's looking good. Okay, let's unpause that. So all the cars are going to go, woo, we need to get back to where we were before. So now these cars here, when they join the roundabout, it's easier for them to get out. All the people are happily walking and crossing over. It's easy for them to get out. Now, the issue that we have, as you can see here. Now, what I've done is I've gone through all of my bus lines and added a whole load of new buses. So, at the minute, we've got all these extra buses that are stopping along here. And I'm just wondering whether we could do a little something here. None of these seem to have cycling and buses. Now, there probably is something on the workshop, but... I think I'm perhaps just going to leave it because the buses are going to unbunch and I think the problem will sort of disappear. So so now let's keep an eye on this. So we can see it's backing up a bit up here and we want to see whether these guys and girls can get out quick enough and not get caught up by all of this traffic. I also want to check the speeds of this roundabout. So these are 40, this is 60... Yeah, that's 50. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade that to 60. Upgrade these to 60. And I'm going to put the roundabout 
down to 50. There we go. So it's just a little bit slower. And let's maybe have a look at the <laughs> look at this house here, right up on a mountain. Uh, let's just keep it looking like this. We can see what's going on. And I want to see this traffic here basically go down to nothing. That is the idea. Something else we can do to try and help the guys and girls here is to find out where they're all going. So I'm going to go into this one here. I'm going to pick this menu option, traffic routes. I'm just going to pick this road that enters the roundabout. There we go. And we're going to see where everybody is heading. So let's turn off pedestrians because they're not going to cause any traffic. We'll turn off the cyclists as well. Private vehicles we want on public transport and cargo, trucks, city service vehicles. Yeah, so we've got a lot of public transport, which is coming down there and going around the roundabout and up that way. But as you can see, the only line coming up there is public transport. If I turn it off, there we go. So everybody is basically either coming along here or wanting to go straight over. So where are they all coming from? Lots of them. So that's all the trucks. Lots of people coming from there. So most of it, if I turn off public transport and cargo. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of people coming from down here. And then there's a lot of trucks. That is almost the main thing that's coming through here is the trucks. And then some of them are coming down this way and sort of delivering all over the place. A lot of them are going straight on, straight on, straight on, and even coming to all over here or all along the front. Yeah, they're coming the long way round, all along the front where all the commercial is. So it's basically this cargo train terminal is causing most of our traffic coming through here. Now couple of options that we could do is we could connect the back of this road to something to try and spread out if we sort of connected it over here then you know roughly half might go this way and half might go that way and that might just be enough i'm going to grab this national road let's grab that now i want this to go into here but to be a tunnel so i can do that and then we'll come back and sort that out a bit with the, <laughs> with the bridge and things. So there now is a connection coming out here, connecting out into the world. Let us grab one and a three. Actually, that is perfect. There we go. So we've now got a lane for each direction here. And here, if we grab this tool and do control click, there we go. One for left, one for straight on, one for right, and then just one coming in. I'm not sure many are going to be coming up this way. If they do, we'll upgrade it and change it. There we go. Slight change. I put the uh, railway line as a bridge over the top. That'll work fine. So what we want to see now, hopefully, is a lot more of these trucks down here coming out of the cargo station and going right instead of left and we want to see whether that is going to help our traffic situation so look we can all we can see it queuing up look at that it's queuing up it's really queuing up isn't it okay so let's uh take a few moments to see how much difference that makes there we go look we've already got some going the other way no they're all turning around all right let's watch this for a moment or two Okay, I've been watching it for a few minutes. None of the cars are coming out and going right. I'm just wondering whether we've got something set up here. Stop them changing lanes. Hmm, I don't think that will make much of a difference, but I'll delete that anyway. But what is interesting is there are cars coming up this way, cars and trucks. So that means if they're coming up this way, they're not coming through this roundabout here. So maybe that will help a little bit. Okay, so just been looking at this problem that we've got here. And even though cars are getting out quicker on this roundabout, it's the buses that are causing the problem. Now, we've got bus line one here, which is the only one we've got lit up. It's a blue one. It comes into this uh, hub station here where all our passengers and intercity buses are coming. It goes around the school and then it just does a big loop around this area and then comes back in again. So basically twice it's going through this roundabout, once on the way out and once on the way in. And when I have a look at bus line one on here, there's 18 vehicles. Mm -hmm. Now, there's not 18 vehicles for no reason. It's because there's so many people that want to use uh, this stop. So there we go. Look, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Absolutely tons of people. Now, I've got the biofuel bus 
Um, does a normal bus actually hold more people? Okay, quick check on the wiki. No, the buy a few bus and the bus has exactly the same capacity. These are just uh, quieter. So, what I'm thinking is, can we... I don't want to drop the amount of buses because we obviously need them. Uh, we could probably even do with more buses. But what I want to do is see whether we can stop those buses going through this roundabout twice. So when they come out of this direction or when they come back up again, could we have these maybe come up here instead, instead of going through here? That could be quite good. We could try that. So if we grab, let's grab our stops. Uh, buses over here, grab our stops. So this stop here, if we move that up there, now the bus goes up that way turns around and goes across here so that stops him going through this roundabout might get this one a little bit busier i'm not entirely sure because well probably not because all the buses coming in are not getting in the way of the buses going out so that should be okay and then i'm wondering about adding in a little road connection here so they come down this way to drop people off at the school whether we could just have a little bus connection that comes down this way instead Excellent. So now they're going to come out this way, which will be interesting. Uh, we'll see whether this works. Let's take our lane arrows, control, left click. So now we've got dedicated turning lanes. And then what do we do here? Normally, that would just be give way because of all of this traffic. Let's give that a go. So let's have a quick look at our bus. Oh, we've got that stop there, haven't we? That is what's stopping it. So let's get that stop and move it up here. There we go. So it now comes past the school down here. All these buses are confused and going back. So that's going to take the buses out of this route. Why are some of these buses red? Because it's a red bus. It's on a different line. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Obvious answer. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this for a few moments and see whether this roundabout up here has any problem. What are they all doing? Look, they're all walking out here. Probably because I've changed some things around. Look, they're all jumping in their car because they cannot cycle around this roundabout. That's what it is. Are they all cyclists? They're all walkers. Okay, so we need like a walking path over here. Let's use this one. Let's use our tool. Let us do an inner roundabout. Is there room for it? Oh, mama. Just not quite enough room. Yeah, let me just fix this up. That, to me, looks like it's working really, really well. Needs a bit of beautification around there. We will get to an episode of that in the future. But we've added a couple of extra little paths. So now people can walk around. And, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That is good. How are we going down here? So this isn't blocked up anymore. People aren't queuing up behind buses here, which is fantastic. This isn't becoming a problem. There's not loads of buses waiting to get out. If it starts to become an issue, like this guy's been sat here for quite a while. Oh, he's off now. He's going. I didn't realise the red ones are going to be turning right. So, uh, well, that would be left, wouldn't it, coming down there. So, what I would like is some extra little lanes at the end there. If I just do an asymmetric road on the last piece, turn that around like that. And then what I also want to do is on here... I want to just have uh, no cars, we'll have buses, we'll have taxis, no trucks, no trash, uh, we'll have SOS, yeah, that's fine, on that little section there, so that'll also count, oh, do you know what, we'll do this bit here as well, so no cars, either direction, in any of the lanes, buses, no trucks, everything, uh, no garbage, so I don't want them coming up there and using it as a turnaround point. There we go. So now we've got two lanes to get out at the end. Just make sure, yeah, the giveaways is in there. Fine. And that should work much, much better. That's going to stop all of those buses coming through there. The red ones are still going through. But look, already this is looking much better. This is going okay. There's no traffic up here anymore. No traffic down there anymore. A uh, lot of cars coming down from the top here. Still people <laughs> cycling along here. 
They could they could just cycle up there and round there. Why are they getting out and getting in? Okay, let's use the tool again. Let's use the tool. We're going to select that one. Okay, so does that not give us the information? Yes, it does. We've got all of these on ticked. There we go. So, as it makes sense, only pedestrians are coming down here. And they're literally all just coming up here to come off their bikes. Okay, I've just switched out the uh, cycle path just for a normal path. Because what it is, I've just noticed, a train will come in and drop a load of people off. Look, there's a whole load of people now coming along here. And they walk along this path. There we go. And I wonder if these ones are going to do it as well, since I've changed the uh, path over. Are they going to come at the end here and then all jump in their cars? No, they're not. Some of them are. Yeah, look. So that is really weird. So they'll walk all the way down here and then join the road. So where is it that they can't get to by walking? That's what I want to know. That is just really strange. I don't know why they're doing that. It's a bit of a quirk. I'm wondering whether if I don't have <coughs> any walking paths in here at all, I would prefer it if they're going to drive. Just come out of here and get in their car. And here we go. A load of people are coming out. They're all going to go through the train. Station <laughs> is the other word I want to put on there. They're all going to come out the front. Some are going to the right. Some are going to the left. Let's just follow this crowd here then. So some are crossing over there. Some are still walking down here. Some are crossing over. Okay, some have made it this far and they're still getting out and getting in their car. It's almost like because this is a different sort of road. I wonder if it's to do with that because this one down here has got the protected cycle lane all the way along. I bet it's to do with that. I bet if we change this to a protected cycle lane, they wouldn't do it. Let's grab this one here. There we go. Whoa, confuse everybody. So if that's the case, that they can't get out and get straight in their cars, we want to change this bit of road in the middle here. So, oh, we're troubleshooting today. Well, I'm going to upgrade the bit just in front here to a normal two-lane road without the protected bicycle lane. So there's still bicycle lanes for getting through. Ah, there we go. Perfect timing. So if they walk out here and get straight in their car, we know that that is what the problem was. That it was the protect yeah look at that it was the protected cycle lanes well there we go so now we have learned a lot so that is going to cause huge amounts of traffic <laughs> outside there most of them as you can see are walking and coming over here the rest are getting in their car and then driving and coming up around this way okay well that is certainly interesting I might change the layout of this road a little bit because that is going to cause some horrendous traffic yeah, it doesn't take long for it to go down, does it, though? But, yeah. Okay, well, we found out a little something interesting then. So, this one's okay. Let's come over to here. This one is much, much better. Look, they're not queuing. These are parked cars. But they're not queuing along here for a bus stop. And all those blue buses that we had that were going around that big loop are now avoiding this area here, which is good. And also, we're getting other people coming up this road here, as you can see which they're also going to be avoiding going up these main roads and causing all the traffic. Like I said before, that roundabout's only in there to help these guys coming out, turn around and go back the way they want to go. So, yeah, I think that has helped a lot with the traffic in this area, which is just absolutely brilliant. So let's move from that area over there to this area over here, Cypress Square. We're going to rename this. We had some excellent suggestions. I'll keep the square on the end. But this is going to be called, <laughs> if I could spell, Pointy Square. Because it is sort of a point in the shape and the T and the thing. Yep, you get the idea with that. So that's that. Thank you for the suggestions. Also had some comments about this path that's going along here. I've got this extra little bicycle path, which they love to use. Um, it didn't have many connections. So we've got a connection here, which I think pretty sure was already there. But as you follow this path along... So let's go along here. You come to this next junction. You can just about see it. There's now a connection there. So they can carry on onto those roads. If we carry on a little bit further, there's now a connection here. So if they want to, they can join that road. Uh, if we go down here, I'm pretty sure we've got other connections along here. There's one there. So I've, I've done that all the way around. Anywhere there's a junction, I put a connection. And then I put a little couple of connections in between as well. And that's, there we go, look, you can see one there, one there. So that's helped people able to cycle from other parts of the city 
and then yeah get into pointy square which is really good so thank you for that suggestion also following <laughs> the river thames down here uh, this little section at the end i've just slightly changed my ferry setup so there we go i've removed the loop that we had at the side and i've also had another stop in so if we watch this boat here on the left he's going to come up and we can sort of speed that up a bit let's put that on so we can see there we go so he's going to come up and stop there which is good let's speed it up then he's going to come out he's going to come down here now he's going to come across to the other side so there we go so people getting from the top one to the bottom one can do it in one easy stop then he's going to go back again to this top one so here he goes he's going to turn right he's now going to go back up there again there we go and then he's going to head back on his journey and there we go so that now means that people can use these stops to get from one side to the other which is another excellent use of our ferry stops fantastic And something else that was suggested, which I think is a fantastic idea to help people get across from this part of the city to this part of the city, is to have a dedicated bus stop. Let's grab our buses running from our intercity bus hub over here. So let's just grab that and take any one of these. We'll take, let's take the one at the other end and just have that running all the way over here to this ferry bus hub that we've got over here so we'll put this stop let's just pop that in the middle we'll change the color in a sec and then that's going to run all the way back whoops there we go to over here excellent complete the line let's then go into here so that'll be bus line number five let's put all of those on we'll change that one to a purple hue no we've already got purple hue let's have yellow there we go and that has got a biofuel bus, which is fine. How many vehicles is that going to give us? Let's just double, double check. 20. 20 vehicles. Yeah, I really don't think you're going to have 20 vehicles. Four will be fine for now. And then we'll let that run for a bit. And you'll never guess what. Taking a look at our festival area over here, we now have the ability to upgrade to level three. So 18 concerts played, check. Band popularity, 85, check. One sold out concert, done. Uh, not quite sure how much room this is going to take up. Where this is going to mess up our little car park and stuff over here. Quite possibly, yes. Well, let's give it a go. Bish, bash and bosh. The car park's fine. It all fits in. We now have a fully upgraded level three festival area. And even though we've still got this 9,000 tea leaves a week ad campaign we're still up to 6.7 million tea leaves overall that is absolutely brilliant do you know what? one other thing i'm just thinking of doing as well we've got all the passengers coming out of our train station here and head jumping in their cars and heading down there and they're causing a load of traffic every time a train comes up i'm also going to give them an option to go somewhere else they're going to have an option to come here Yes, it's going to delete a couple of houses, but tougher is There we go. There we go. So they can now come down here, join this junction, and then we're going to make sure that that is give way and dedicated turning lanes. There we go. So that might just give them an extra choice. I'm just looking over there at my buses as well. I think that is a ton of people waiting for that yellow bus. Look at them all which is absolutely brilliant. So we need to increase the buses that we've got there going from one side to the other. Actually, let's just check it out while we're waiting for the next train to come through. Let's go into here, go into our buses, bus line. There we go. 238, 370. Whoa, mama. So that tells me there is a huge need for getting people over to that side of the city. Do you know what? I'm going to stick it on, stick it on 20. Uh, no, 20 seems too many. 12? Yeah, let's try 12. <laughs> See how that goes. Wow. So what I would like to do is extend this train line from here to all the way down here. I think that would solve the huge problem that we've got. But until we've bought this square here, yeah, that ain't going to happen just yet. Right, let's wait for this next train. Okay, here it is. So let's see all the people coming out. I've also made this whole stretch here, the non- protected bike road oh there we go auto safe with sympathy 
just to give them more of an option to jump in their cars or vans if they wish. So let's just see if many go down this road. That is what I'm really hoping for. Some are. Uh, I'm just going to forget the bicycle lanes. We're going to do that. So we've got dedicated turning lanes and lanes for going straight on. Just to help people get out a little bit quicker, maybe. Yeah, so there we go. Some have used that one. Not so many, but definitely I think we need an extended train line. We'll have to look at that one in the future. And if you get another train come behind it quite quickly, <laughs> yeah, you can see why it's uh, snarling up. But I think I've, uh, yeah, look, even just taking a few cars out of the mix down here just makes the world a difference. It keeps this running, which keeps this running. Buses are running okay there. There's no queue back here. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with that. So there we go. Hopefully you've learned today how to analyze your traffic, how to analyze your pedestrians as well, and making good use of paths and picking your roads carefully and also adjusting your buses. You can really help your traffic keep moving. So thank you very much for watching. If any of the tips today helped you out, let me know in the comments below and leave a like. That is always greatly appreciated. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.